Just bought yourself a Flash Pro? Here are a couple steps to get you going and get your car tuned. I get a lot of questions about the Flash Pro unit and how do I get it set up? How do I get my first tune on there? And most importantly, I bought one used. How do I tell if it's locked or not? In this video series, we're going to go through the different aspects of owning a Flash Pro, buying one secondhand, what you need to know, so you're in the know. With the Flash Pro connected to your laptop, making sure that the bottom green check marks are telling you that the Flash Pro is connected to your laptop. I had it connected to the vehicle, went ahead and disconnected it. So it is just the Flash Pro in the laptop. You're going to go ahead and press the Flash Pro tab. Go over to Registered Owner. From the Registered Owner area, you're going to go to Update Register. Flash Pro. You're going to go ahead and you're going to fill this information out. Anything with the asterisk, go ahead, follow, fill out. You're going to go through the prompts, either outside of the USA or a USA competition vehicle. These are not for use on a street vehicle unless you have the Honda Flash Pro carb legal unit, the blue Flash Pros. If you have a gray unit, it's going to be solely for competition use only. So it won't let you go any farther if you use street vehicle. Utilize USA competition vehicle or outside the U.S. You're going to fill out an organization, whatever racing body you use, and your license number for whatever organization. You fill it out with whatever you feel fit. You go to next, internet connection required for registration, and click register. This will go ahead and contact Hondata via the internet and it will register your Flash Pro with their database. This is helpful for warranty claims. It is also helpful in the event, for some reason, somebody steals your Flash Pro and down the road they bring it to Hondata for some form of service and Hondata will identify this Flash Pro as not theirs and either hold on to it and contact you in regards to what you would like to do. You know, if, hey, this thing's been stolen, what do you want us to do with it, so on and so forth. So that's an added security bonus with the Flash Pro. Once registered, now you're able to go ahead and start a new calibration. We can close this up. Now that we're ready to start a new calibration, take your OBD2 connector from your Flash Pro, make sure the ignition is on on the vehicle, go ahead and connect to the vehicle. So now you should currently have your Flash Pro connected to your laptop and your vehicle with the vehicle with the ignition on, not running, ignition on, and a strong voltage source, making sure your battery is strong. Go ahead and click New Calibration. Also make sure down at the bottom that we have all our green check marks. Your driver, your Flash Pro, your OBD2, and your ECU. The Flash Pro should recognize your vehicle. In this case, we're working with a Honda CRZ, and it pulled up the vehicle. And this is a list of different programs that they have from Honda for your vehicle. So pick a program. In this case, we're going to use the Raise Rev Limit, EPA Carb Compliant. Click OK. It will pull up the program. Granted, any carb legal calibration, you will not be able to see any of the attributes to that calibration. They keep that locked since it's carb legal. For demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and we'll load up the CRZ with an AEM cold air intake calibration. As you can see, this calibration actually does have the calibration information. If you are a novice, do not edit any of this information. You can cause serious damage to your vehicle if you do not know what you are doing. Simply take the calibration once loaded and you will come here to this up arrow. The up arrow will upload to the vehicle. 
Once again, do not fluctuate any of the electronics in the car. Make sure the radio is off, battery is strong, and go ahead and click upload. Now it's giving us a prompt. This Flash Pro is not associated with the ECU. Do you want to lock this to the ECU? Yes. Give you a disclaimer, gives you some information telling you what to do for selling your vehicle, or if your vehicle's damaged in the event you had to return it back to stock, or you want to recover your Flash Pro. Go ahead and agree. Click OK. And let it do its thing. Currently right now, it is pairing to the vehicle. It is locking. And we are set. So now we are locked to my vehicle. Go ahead and click upload again. And now we start the process of uploading the calibration we selected into the vehicle. This will take some time, especially the first time around. Do be patient. Make sure you bring plenty of water. And let it do its thing. The dash lights will blink. You'll get plenty of dash lights, a couple of the information display area items will go ahead and cycle through. Don't worry about it, that's just part of the process. In certain vehicles, like the 8 Gen Civic Si, the tachometer will actually start to move. And for every percent, let's say 10% will be 1,000, 2% will be 2,000, and you know, so on and so forth. And the RPMs will go up indicating the percentage of how much of the upload process is complete. Kind of a cool feature. I dig it. Something to look at while you're sitting here waiting. It'll prompt you to switch the ignition off. Go ahead and do so. Ignition is off. The message goes away. Ignition back on. We have all our green check marks down below. We're good to go. Go ahead and start your vehicle and it should be ready to drive. That concludes this tutorial. If you want to see anything else pertaining to the Han Data Flash Pro, Things you don't understand, not so much getting into tuning, this isn't a tuning tutorial, this is utilizing your Flash Pro, uh, things you're just confused about to go ahead to get you up and running prior to your tune day, drop it in the comments, let me know. I'll be happy to make a video, go over certain things with you, now that I have a screenshot function that I can record the screen, show you guys data real time. If you have questions on this video, things that were not clear to you. Put it in the comments. I'll go ahead and get back to you, clarify. If it requires another video, we'll do that too. Hope you found it informative. Thank you.